that caught my eye was your first policy here, a public option for jobs. And usually we hear the you know term public option used in the um, right. context of uh, healthcare. At least that's what I'm used to hearing it in. But um, I'm interested to hear a little bit more about your vision for a public option for jobs. And um, it says here, New Yorkers need access to jobs. We need a bold strategy to combat low rate wages and reduce work hours. I certainly agree with that. I uh, just wanted to let you or give you an opportunity to speak a little bit more about this policy. Yeah, so this is the core part of our, our policy platform. It's something that we are really, really going to push hard for next year. Um, it's a large reason why I want to sit on the Civil Service and um, Labor Committee and the Council um, to bring together organized unions, um, labor unions, to have a seat at the table and figure out what this really looks like. But um, there are other major cities across the United States uh, that have such a thing. They, they call it something different, um, local targeted hiring programs. Um, but essentially it means that you know, everyone, anyone who needs a job and cannot find it in the private sector um, should be able to, to have one and should be able to come to their local government and be given um, an opportunity or a pathway into um, what could be either a, a public job, a city service job, um, or uh, an apprenticeship with a with a labor organization. Um, the idea is that there is so much work that needs to be done and so many people that need work um, that it only makes sense. And there are lots of trade unions that are already doing apprenticeships. And I think that um, the city council um, can partner with those, those trade unions and expand on their apprenticeships. Um, I refer to, um, a municipal apprenticeship program as a way to to slowly move towards a public option for employment. Um, but the reality is we need to be providing people, particularly people who live in low income communities of color with trade skills, with vocational skills, skills that they can take with them wherever they go and, and, and therefore have a, a sustainable career path um, wherever they may be. Um, but ideally, we would like to have create a pipeline into city service jobs, into municipal jobs. These can be, um, and we would like to start it out by targeting vulnerable populations like formerly incarcerated homeless people, um, at risk youth, um, you know, LGBTQ folks, um, you know, seniors. And really, it's about equity. It's about um, creating pathways into middle class, family sustaining jobs with all of the things that you would get from a union job or a public job, such as healthcare, benefits, pensions. Um, I see this as the way of really moving people uh, from generational poverty towards generational wealth. And, and that's why it's so important for me. I told you uh, before that one of the, the, the biggest issue in my community is unemployment. And this would address, uh, would address that. We know that the private sector, um, number one, doesn't always give us good paying jobs, doesn't always give us union jobs and cannot eradicate unemployment on its own. Yeah, I think that's so well spoken. And this plan is so innovative for that exact reason, especially because um, just like I said, with the gig economy, another real winner of this pandemic has just been corporate America in general. And to anyone you know out there who's had a shitty job at some corporation that pays you um, a you know, non-livable wage in an exploitative work environment, um, they know that you know, just because you have a job doesn't necessarily mean it's a good job or a job that in any way fulfills you on a spiritual level or you know, makes your life uh, l worth living, honestly. So I think this is such a great um, idea and it would just uplift, I think, so many Americans out of kind of uh, you know, this funk that they probably find themselves in through no reason of their own. You know, they've again lost their jobs because of this pandemic uh, and, and they find themselves out of work. Something like this would be such a great, um, you know, way to help so many vulnerable people in this country, especially in places like New York City that really do need, like you said, good union jobs. And, and there's no reason why, um, you know, our state and local governments can't be employing people. There's plenty of jobs to be done. So again, thank you for, you know, introducing this great idea. I think it's a wonderful uh, way of phrasing it too. I think you're, um, you know, the way you, the way you speak about it and the way it's described here is very, um, you know, it's the kind of thing that makes sense to people. Uh, I think it's always good to reference kind of FDR's new deal, which no one can <laughs> deny was, you know, uh, it, again, it lifted our nation out of the great depression. It's something you're 
taught in school. It's undeniable. So I think that it's exactly the right kind of language to be channeling, especially during these times, right. um, you know, during these times of despair, 